Y'all ever just feel like an NPC in life? Especially when you in school and you do the same thing over and over. It's like you wake up, brush your teeth, then you go to school and you do your, do your work. You know what I'm saying? Most of the time you just feel like an NPC just growing with life because basically you're doing the same thing over and over. So basically what I try to do is like Monday yeah. through Friday, Oh yeah, put my boys in here. Yeah, support my boys. Yes, boys. sir. What's one yeah, thing y'all love about Winston? Turn up, huh? What's one thing y'all love about Winston? The me, the hoes, the bitches. You should be loving. Man, the environment, man. The environment. Them man don't ain't think what they bring. <laughs> I feel you. Hey, man. I got you. So basically, like that. That's why this school it's called HBCU. So it's called Winston Salem State University. So it's historically black, for those that don't know. But basically, this is my sophomore year up here. And when it boils down to it, I'm gonna be here for a while. I got three more, three and a half more years left. And my goal is to graduate as soon as possible. I might take some summer classes though, but other than that, bruh. It's, it's gonna be a pretty good year. One thing that I will say, when you do go to school, find out what you truly like. Find out what uh, careers, things that seem to interest you. And when it boils down to the things that seem to interest you, um, basically what I'm saying is, you're gonna go through many different majors. You're gonna worry about what's my purpose, what's my move, what's the right class for me. And basically all these things when it come down to it. At the end of the day, you just gotta find out what you truly love. And when you do come, study. Study is the, you don't have to be smart, but if you study every day, that is the key to making those good grades. So like A's, B's, you know, say if you wanna be on a Dean's list or whatever, just study. That's really the main, main, main thing it boils down to college is just studying and like I said most people you know what I'm saying most people they make the good grades and stuff but that's it catch y'all back I'm about to get a little workout in today we're just gonna do full body on this beautiful Sunday this is most importantly the gym area but catch y'all later Bruh, when you do this, the main key is when you, it's really all about contraction when you're doing biceps. So really just want to squeeze, squeeze as hard as you can. That way you can see that right there. You squeeze as hard as you can. When you contract, go down slowly. That contraction helps also build muscle as well. And that's the key to building the biceps. Any muscle time, any muscle in general, you just got to switch up the tempo just to build muscle. Sometimes slow tempo is better to build a more muscle, build a more mass. You don't even necessarily need a lot of weight if you just focus on tempo. Three, uh, like you can go one, two, three, then instantly zero, you know what I'm saying? Or one, two, three, or one, two, three. Switch the tempo up every, every now and then just to get a different feel, just to build different angles and size of that muscle. So, the reason I already chose uh, uh, university because like, I just got a recently just got out of the military, bro. And me personally, I wasn't really gonna necessarily take the vid shot, but now the major that I'm in, it's gonna require me to take the vid shot. So right now it's like I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place decision on like, bro, 
I could have just stayed in the army, just took the vid shot, or I could have just, you know what I'm saying? If I get this education, who knows? Maybe in the future you won't have to be required to be a shot. But the like, reason why I took college, bro, because I just got out of military and, you know what I'm saying? It was always been my, my, my dream. Well, not really my dream. I always been inspired just to graduate college for some reason. And I really don't know why. Maybe it's because of the matrix or maybe because no one in my family has ever did it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I always look at it like different ways. Like, this is something, to, this allowed me to grow as a person, even if I don't necessarily graduate. You know what I'm saying? I'll learn new skills. I'll um, broaden my experience in life in general. And that's why I try to do YouTube on the side. The next thing you know, it's just like you just meet new people. You see the collab and you start to attract people in your life, different colleagues and everyone you encounter in this world. You know what I'm saying? Some of them may, some of them, like I said, some of them may drop out. Some of them may stay in college, but you never know the guy, their perspective of who you're going to run into over the times. Like you're run to so many people who doing podcasts, and I have yet to um, yet to start to you know what I'm saying reach out to people, start to collab. And that's one thing I maybe I should do. I should just try to like collab and just focus on many different things. And another reason, really, just to inspire, you know what I'm saying, inspire many people on my journey as possible. Most of the time, I don't try to go out my way to meet new people. I just try to let new people be attracted to me. So one thing that I really learned was once you're in college, try to, as much as you can, try to connect, try to market with many people as possible. That way you can, you know what I'm saying, they can help you on your journey because you never know who's going to help. You know what I'm saying? You never know who's going to support. And that's for like, if you have a big support system, that's the way it to move forward, that's the way to continue to, like I said, broaden your horizon. Next is just like a Tiva, some some type of lifestyle, and like you should be considered of many different things when you go to college. So one is, um, are you going to have the desire to go to class? Two, financially, are you willing to take out loans or are you willing to pay out of pocket? Are you willing to go to a community college or university transfer you gotta look at all these things when it boils down to college and really the matrix portrays it as something that you really truly desire that you deep down that you need to go here you really don't but it depends on um all the stuff what's up how you doing all the marketing and stuff like okay there are certain degrees certain majors that you have to go to college for or a trade school for like like if you want to be a doctor you have to go to school for that you know what i'm saying as far as being an entrepreneur creating businesses creating t-shirts and all those type of things so you really got to look at it like that and it's all figuring out what you want to do in your life and i feel like everyone should at least take the opportunity the chance take a risk sometimes just try it out even if you don't like the basics of it just give it a try you know what I'm saying don't necessarily when you get here the one biggest thing that I say is don't waste your money on so much on debt because that debt starts to add up next thing you got all these student loans and all your debt but you just give it a new opportunity to learn something meet people get a fresh new start of your life and this is the, what you're doing right now in your 20s determines on what you do with your 30s 40s and year on and like I said also another one you want to get a high paying job that's another reason why you should go but most of the nine times it's 10 people gonna get that business job work in the office it's life in the matrix but it gets boring but you got to have some type of purpose or have some type of a desire to get you out of that matrix build you know what i'm saying just start in the matrix and continue to build continue to get that wealth and save money then start your own business that way so you can remove yourself and make sure some basically just do that and that's a really another reason why I came to college basically and plus like really I've been working several jobs bro especially being me and I hated the jobs that I was working at and I just gotta find something that's fit for me I know that's something um, fit for me. I know that's something um, 
that's great for me. I know I can achieve many different things. Uh, if as long as I put in the work and have the right mindset to achieve these things, I know everything will become true. And when you get here, study. You know what I'm saying? I found out studying. I realized just how fun studying was because I put on some lofty or lofi music and just sit the time just to take notes, to take flashcards, drink some coffee, and sit there and take notes and listen. And when I get bored watching a movie, then I go back to studying and I realize it's fun. Especially having your own company and staying inside is fun. But you, there's a time where you need to go out and party. There's a time where you need to go out and travel. There's a time for everything. It says that in Ecclesiastes. But really just, just want to continue to my journey, bro. That's it. Follow me at Winter's mother on Facebook. <laughs> so we just end up getting the double cheeseburger, orange juice, some fries. I don't really, you know, so I got bad habits, but today's Sunday. So like on the calf on Sundays, they be having BS type stuff, but like that. But anyways, first things first, you can never go wrong with a double cheeseburger. Put some ketchup, some barbecue, and with the fries. Sweet, sweet baby raised barbecue. This don't go down too. What's good, my boy? And that's it, though. We got the fries right here. You know what I'm saying? It's messy, though. Pretty quick look like that. But. Most importantly, I'm just chilling right now. Like on a cab, I don't know what they be having in there. It be some BS. Most of the time, they be having like, they cook fries every day. But they have pork. I don't necessarily eat pork anymore due to dietary constrictions. You know what I'm saying? Because one thing I learned, if you feed a pig would eat anything. They said if you want to, if you ever want to get rid of a dead body, feed it to a pig, cause it's gonna eat it. You know what I'm saying? That's all it knows is it's just to eat everything. Just like dogs, that's all they know is the everything they see, they hunt. <laughs> but other than that, we just got the cheeseburger from Burger Studio. I'm gonna drop her uh, IG back in the chat though, but. Y'all boys stay tuned, chat. And just let me take a first bite and just mm -hmm. mm -hmm. patty. You know what I'm saying? It's a crabby patty, bro. It's gonna bless him for real. 
Mmm. It's baby patty busting. Barbecue and ketchup. Only thing they miss is coleslaw, chili. You gotta add that on the burger though. I feel like coleslaw is man though. It's mandatory. You gotta have it. Or else it's not a burger. You feel me? I don't even know why I got any orange juice. That orange juice. I'd rather have apple juice. I'd take apple juice any day over orange juice. But they only had the orange juice. I'm gonna drop a full day of eating vlog where I show y'all what I eat throughout the day. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, supper, snacks like that. I'm gonna be dropping that later. Cause one of my followers, subscribers like whatever, whatever y'all wanna see, just let me know. Drop it down in the description box. As fast as I can, I'm gonna try to put it out there. Like this is for y'all. This is for, I do this for y'all. This is the reason why y'all subscribe to my channel and just show me love and support. That's I really that's what I do it for. You know, I'm just trying to build some type of passion back on it. I'm trying to be a passionate, more passionate about it. That way I can make it into a habit. Hopefully, if it's God's plan. We ever have make it into a lifestyle. Because just think about this, bro. You can just start one channel, and if you be consistent, that joint would just blow. Like, it's gonna blow out the water. Like, just imagine, bro, you start one channel. Some people be channels be blowing in years, two years, but. It's all about building that consistency. Try to drop as much as I can. Even in the days I don't feel like it. It take a long time. But really, you also gotta get out your comfort zone when you're vlogging. Because people around you, most of them, nine times out of 10, they go on to be in the videos. Or you can have social anxiety in public. It all boils down to many different things when, you, when it comes down to vlogging. Really, you just gotta like, you gotta be the main character sometime when it all boils down to it. They, everybody I know that main character energy. That's what it all boils down to. But then you got the NPCs. <laughs> I just be walking around. But that's it.